begin to change the attitude. It will be bitter against your spark. That power of rejection will not do well in who we need. At the end of the day, she will seek for divorce. You can separate it through that means of challenge. Through that means of challenge and separate it. They found that with sickness we be together. If one of, all, one of them is more sick, then the others will consider ease of our stand. You can get out of that power, no longer honor such a power again. It is against God. Because you bow in the presence of God and the presence of men, there are witnesses to such a power. It is dangerous to bow, not to feel it. We have seen cases of who make vows and they be honor it. And those who that they vow for, they went to go and do things against them. We have seen the woman, for a woman, the man promised her, I want to marry you, I will marry you. Eventually, she didn't marry her, she married another person. That woman went to the apartment to go and cast spell on the man, and the man lost his family. He did not perform again. The woman retaliated. The woman attacked the man, and the man lost his mouth. He did not perform again. As a consequence to broken promises, as a question to broken power. Hallelujah. A man promised a woman that when I travel out and I made it, I'll come back and take you. The woman gathered money, gathered experience and great money to sponsor the man I brought. Let the man go to a door. He didn't even give a call to the woman. He didn't call her. She called the woman everywhere. Everywhere. After seven years, the man came back looking for the woman. Looking for the woman. When he saw her, he was very because he lost everything. Where yeah, he went. He didn't make it. He was frustrated. He didn't make it. And he believed that it was that woman that is behind it. Praise the Lord. There is a cause attached to people that broke promises. There is a cause that is attached to it. If you go out to promise people, you know, without if you have the mind of killing it, you are endangering your own life. Because you cannot go spot free. Even if the person did not do anything against you, something will work against you. Because you promise from your heart. You deliberately promise and you don't have mind of killing it. You are not going to go free. Sooner or later, the consequences will come. Hallelujah. Marital vow is very significant. You must keep it. Except you don't vow. Except you are just impregnated and just part of the house of your husband and wife. But if you did marriage and found at your mouth, you are bound to stand in such a vows. Hallelujah. You are bound to stand in such a vows. Because the Bible does not take any kind of people that uh, 
village of Bars. We have a religion bar, of Marita Bar, yes, religion bar. You make promise when you are praying, when you need something, you need a request from God. And you are praying, God, if you can give me this thing, this is what I will do. If you can give me a child, this is what I will do. Hannah prayed in very far. God will give me a son. I will give it back to you. And she did exactly that thing that mattered. The child was born and to the child in the heart of God. The child was living in the mission house. Dedicated to God according to our God. But today we bow and we relate to our God. We are praying for admission to God in the mission. In the mission. You gain a vision, and don't look at what's coming. And don't look at what's happening coming. God gave me children. And I don't know about them to know that God. You are hiding them away. You go out of church, you need to do a right life. And God bless you with the church. You promise God that I am not leaving this church. And then I take my life and time and offering to this church. But when they that to receive that promise, you go out. You go out. You are sitting in another church. Such power, you always stand against you. Better you go power than to power and God's committed to me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you power in the church of God, you have to be such a promise. Don't rush to make a vow. Think deeply. Plan deeply. Are you going to fulfill such a promise? You promise God that if you give me job and you pay my tax, you want job, you better be able to pay tax. Then you are going to pay even more what do you expect in such job? Are you going to progress in such job? That is the same why men who are facing frustration. That is the same why many men who are getting salary, who are getting one, who are not getting books, and who are not going to fulfill your thoughts, who are failing to fulfill your thoughts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three, we have personal vows. Personal vows. You know, you have prayer to make promise to your friend that you are going to help your friend. I'm going to connect you. I'm going to help you. But you refuse to follow such promises. You refuse to follow that friends. Your friend or your partners, your partners, and you promise such partner, I will give him one to do something. And he's looking towards your, towards you to bring something out. One month, two months, three months, one year, two year, ten year, you need to do anything. Praise the Lord. You are validated, you don't come. You are late on your vows. You didn't keep the promise of the promise in your heart. It is wickedness. If you have something and you fail to help as you are wrong, when you promise that person that puts his or might there, it's relying on you. It's relying on you. They believe in you. Praise the Lord. But when you don't do it, you are disappointed that person. That person, maybe you would have planned for that thing. But you lied on you to do plan. You lied on you to do reality. It's waiting on you. And you wasted the time and life is such a 
you bring that person back to home. You think that God will be happy with you. It's better you don't promise than you promise and you don't keep it. Praise the Lord. What are the three you vow? What will you vow? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We can promise service and devotion to God. <coughs> we can vow service and devotion to God. Because when we are requesting it from God, we ought to say that Lord, if you can heal me, I will not leave your house. I will serve you with all my heart and my God that's sick. Meaning we are healed. No longer call to the services. No longer see and no longer devoted. When you are sick, you are always in the church. Prayer in the morning, prayer in the afternoon, prayer in the evening, you always call. But when you are in the evening, then you go back. And this has God again. That is the faith you vow to call. Otherwise, living a righteous life. You can, at the beginning of the year, you always make plans, make the power. This year, I will not drink alcohol again. I will not go into fornication again. I will not steal again. I will be committed to God again. That's a vow. Vow. But by that January, now, yeah. miss that promise. Things did such a promise. We have gone back to what you said in God's way again. Give me a righteous man, you can make it as a bar. But when you let your things continue your sins, that means you have to give such a bar. Number three, you can have marriage vows. Marriage vows. Like the portion you are promising. That promise that you have brought is binding. People be born when you go to water. Before you go to water, if you are in question, that I will marry you. You are beautiful. I love you. I will not marry another person. If you have seen such thing, you care. It's a vow. It's a promise. If you cannot marry someone, you tell that person, I'm not interested. I don't love you. There is no sin in that. But if you promise and you fail that promise, you have killed that person. You have destroyed the life of that person. You have injured the heart of the first person. Sometimes ago, the medical student was about to write a final year exam. I received a letter from a friend. I'm sorry, I'm no longer interested. Then it broke down. She broke down immediately. And she lost her sanity. Came back to her immediately. She did not go to her son. She was frustrated. She was bitter. She seen that wickedness. And they have been together for almost more than five years. At the end of the day, the man, you know, disappointed her. How many disappointments today? People are not working on X, 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 X. It's so common today. X, X. X as a result of broken promises. They were interviewing some set of ladies and he said they will never trust any man because of their experience. Some of them said they will never marry. 
because of broken promises. What is the word turning to? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't deceive people. If you deceive people, you are deceiving yourself. There can be repercussion of whatever you say. Whatever you say, we are against you. Whatever you want to do, we are against you. Either now or in the future. Some people are reaping. They are breaking promises. I better wait in life. They are not at ease. They are successful, but they are at the end of their life. They are miserable. They are paying what they have done in the past. It may not happen immediately. When you are my day, you will go. Or where you will. Praise the Lord. Oh, we are talking to you. Praise the Lord. You committed, you broke the heart of somebody. And you are, you are comfortable. Consequently, may not come immediately. It may come later in life. You will reap whatever you sow. There is no way. That is way of life. That is the reason why we must look at our life carefully. We must behave normally. Praise the Lord. Don't promise anything you cannot do. Like I have said, don't make bad. And don't feel. If you make bad, feel it. You love, you love, don't love somebody. Tell, uh, tell me, I don't love you. And you look for another person. You are not the only one here. You look for another person. But wasting the time of such individuals. One year, two years, three years, five years, some ten years, at the end of the day, no matter that you are not going to marry something to be wickedness. You are a sinner. And your life will be punished. And you cannot go score free. Praise the Lord. God has endangered the life of vicious persons. Hallelujah. Number four, promise me friends or partner or family. Promise to make your friends or your partner. Then you are going to give me money. You are going to help me in business. Or you, 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 you do the business together. And you, you, are, you are agreeing on some sharing formula. You are going to give you 40 percent. And after you have gotten the money, you change the promise. You are no longer going to give you what you said. This time you said, I'm going to pay you. <laughs> that is wrong. That is wrong. You are not keeping to the promise. You are not keeping to the place. There are so many people that are in the business that are doing something. They will say for their mouth, they will not sign agreement. But when you say for your mouth, we're going to give you certain amount. Please give such an amount. If you do otherwise, you will take the money in another room. You pay such money in another room. When you promise your parents, do it as you are proud. Ah, my father lost me. Send me to school. I'm going to take care of my father. I'm going to take, my, take care of my mother. I'm not allow my mother to suffer. I will take care of them. <coughs> and when you made it, you are no longer calling home. You are no longer visiting them. You are no longer sending anything to them. You are failing your purposes. And there are some consequences to that. Praise the Lord. Don't bow if you are not going to keep it. There's nothing that is uh, mandating you to bow. If you don't bow, nobody will kill you. If you don't bow, nobody will punish you. If you bow, you must keep it. Praise the Lord. 
Vengeance of unpaid brothers. 